everybody so as you will realize a lot of these things have happened in the last few weeks um, but obviously I didn't have my computer but I have my computer now um, thank you to a friend who helped me out with that and um, let's get into it so today on Heart Talks I am in the park and I am watching some bands play at my secret club and I'm not here alone look his in me it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. So we're here at Mighty Me Cooper in London and come with us and see what bands we're going to get a chance to see. Do you know what? We've been around for 22 years and this is our first ever Mighty Hoopla. So I've just got backstage and I've just seen Anastasia back there. She's looking beautiful. Oh yeah. And also, the guys from Steps are here. Uh, so listen, we're going on tour at the end of the year. It's uh, really exciting because we haven't been on tour for a long, long time. Girl Mega Mix, let's be honest, guys. Come on, someone had to represent. No, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie, this is my first mighty hoopla. And two things one, I'm drunk, and two, I'm now single. Are you single, Ryland? I'm single. Well, my Instagram DMs are open. <laughs> and I'm checking them. On the hour. Every. Single. Hour. But I imagine not within the next hour because something very special is happening. Thank <laughs> you. 
good because that's exactly what a step show is about. I look out to all of your beautiful faces and we are celebrating diversity, inclusion and harmony tonight. We're all at one. It doesn't matter how you identify. If you're straight, you're gay, you're bi, you're transgender, if you're an ally, this is the place for pure joy and acceptance tonight. You live your best lives. If I could tell nine-year-old H, who was afraid to go to school, who was bullied, who was beaten up, who was wearing his mum's dresses, that one day he would be standing on the stage loud and proud, and it's thanks to you guys! Thank you for allowing me to be my authentic self. You've been with us from the start. None of us on this stage tonight would be, would, would be here without you guys. We started 25 years ago. Yes. With a little song called 5678. Oh, fantastic tonight. And you are so flamboyant. It is amazing. <laughs> but speaking of flamboyant and costumes and clothes. I can see a lot of cowboy hats out there. I can see a lot of t-shirts. How are you doing guys? Well, have we got anyone dressed up as a Steps member out there tonight? Anyone really gone for it? Yep, we've got one over here. Who is he? Is he Claire? <laughs> Jumping up and down. But it just goes to show all the love and support that you guys have shown us all over the years. And we do repeat ourselves in saying this and I'm sure the guys will as the show goes on. We are so appreciative and we love you guys for it so much, we really do. Hey everyone, so I am here at the Royal Albert Hall, the Royal Albert Hall where the Olivier Awards happen, uh, I think the BAFTAs happen here now. So I came to get my award, but then I got told that I wasn't getting an award, but I'm actually here for this event, Proud and Loud, which is an event to celebrate 50 years of Pride, because it's the, it's the 50th anniversary of the first Pride March in London um, and there's an event tonight here at the Royal Albert Hall so me and I'm here look who's with me again it's a different day we haven't got James I'm not stalking him <laughs> we don't see each other for ages and then we see each other twice in one weekend so we're gonna go in and um, just see what's going on okay They've asked me to make a speech, but I never do as I'm told, and I've always wanted to do this in the Albert Hall, because it's got the longest gallery in any theatre. The boy I love is up in the gallery. Waving of his handkerchief, <laughs> as merry as a robin that sits on a tree. <laughs> it's a celebration, and because it's a celebration, it is equally a protest. There is no conflict. This next song I'm going to sing is a song I wrote about coming out. <laughs> because I came out a couple of years back, um, and because of lockdown and everything, this actually is my first Pride, um, which is really exciting for me. But yeah, this is my song, Free. If you only knew 
how scared I was to tell you Built it up so much in my head that I let you down If you only knew The pain I put my heart through Living a life for a life Not only for what we're celebrating and to see so many beautiful faces in the crowd, but I'm playing more like a hall. That is mad. Yeah. That Look is so mad. Little Yorkshire in his dreams coming through on the stadium, guys. Um, <laughs> couple, in, couple in from Yorkshire. Um, I'm going to just carry on with the songs because I will be at least the same amount talking as I do singing. So I'll just breeze on to the next song, ladies and gentlemen. This is a ballad about having so much love you can't even express it. A biblical amount of love. Um, so I hope you enjoy this one. Change me. Say I'm embarrassing my country. How could I do this to my family? Don't want to grow up being born. You're a part of this family. I made you myself, but the way that you Kissing boys in the street My son Stop kissing boys in the street You're just like my favorite song Go round round my head Like my favorite song Go round round my head You're just like my favorite song Go round round my head Like my favorite song Go get up in the morning and is your reason for living. Um <laughs> no clue. Um, but this is this is one of my favourites to perform live because for the last two years it's been awful and we've been stripped of being with those loved ones and to see a packed out crowd in the Royal Albert Hall, I mean we're bringing all that love back and I would like to dedicate this to every single one of you shouting this audience tonight because I feel the love. I feel it. Hey everyone, so I am here at the London Lighthouse Gallery and I am here because, do you remember a couple of months ago I did the video about More To Me Than HIV, the photographic exhibition that was done in Brighton? Well it's come to London, so it's here until the end of the month. So if you're in London and you want to see it, it's a free exhibition um, and uh, you can come and see all the pictures that have been taken so far. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm here at the moment. So let's go in and have a look. Look, look. You're swishing. She's Again. swishing. She's Again. swishing in the wind. <laughs> Everybody, look who's back. It's Mina. So as you've probably seen in there, um, I was walking past Mina's photo. Um, she's looking very glamorous in it. She's looking very pretty. Um, <laughs> Mina, why was it important for you to yeah. be part of this exhibition? I think just to kind of raise awareness that, you know, it, 
you know, you can be anyone with HIV actually, and you can well be here. You've got to celebrate your life. You know, you can't pass it, and you can't pass it on to HIV to anybody else anymore because you're on medication. Yep. And it's amazing, like yep. you know. And it's just celebrate our diversity that we're all different. <laughs> We are. 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 with my ultra glamorous friend Isabel um, because it was my lovely other friend Angie Brown's birthday party so I was there celebrating with her and um, I've actually got too much footage uh, for one video so I'm gonna be back next week um, with an extra special part two of this video so I'll see you next Thursday take care everybody remember like share comment and subscribe